What's up, people? It's your boy, uh, my recording! What's up, people? It's your boy, Jatua. I'm here today in Kerbal Space Program. I wasn't supposed to be in Kerbal Space Program, but I am in Kerbal Space Program because I said I was going to do something, and I'm by gum, I'm going to do it. So today, we're going to take an adventure in passive, y'all, control. So we actually have no units on here that are going to be actuating y'all. Uh, this is done on purpose because we don't really need it. Now, it is normally there to combat our side slip, which is the aerodynamic state where the aircraft is moving somewhat sideways as well as forwards relative to the oncoming airflow or relative wind. So basically, it's, it's, it's just falling sideways. So we're going to go ahead, bring up our, our, our control alt F12 menu, the cheap console, uh, if you would like to call it that. We're going to go to physics and we're going to go to aero. And we are going to display all of our aero. So we just need to see all of this. And you see right here, we have a lot of side slip. <laughs> I, and, and we can take a look and see. Look how all that side slip going on right there. Okay, so this aircraft here definitely has a lot of it. Alright, so what we're going to do here is we're going to come right in this section here. And we are going to slap this wing right here. Rotate this. So it's like that. And now what we'll do is we'll actually go here and we'll drag this out using a different wing because right now all of our yaw is focused up front we need some of this in the rear here so we're just gonna drag some of it back here and angle it so it's not so distinctly intrusive to our design <laughs> all right so let's grab this set that to snap and begin to angle that push this up slightly see how much more we need it's it's mostly okay And that should, I think, we, I think one more click should do it for us. And we should have a workable design. There we go. That looks good. That looks good. All right. Let's switch everything up. Now we're using dark textures for that segment that you're seeing there to make everything the same nice sleek color. It's a mod called Dark Textures, available now on, sp on, on Space Dog. Um, I am not the maker of Dark Textures, I just happen to really enjoy it. So, that little plug there, that was for you, Dark Textures mod creator, that I forgot your name. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, so now we have our passive, y'all, all the way down our craft. Let's see how well this changes how much size slip we're getting. So right now we are going to do our initial test. Let's see how it goes. Full throttle. Here we go. Our bird is rolling. Now this one actually lifts off really easily because it has a lot of wing area. And let's keep an, an eye on our side slip degrees. And you see right now we're at zero. We're still at zero. We're steady at zero. Look at that. A little design makes a whole lot of difference. You can see right there how it's actually pulling out on different directions and actually negating our side slip pretty well. 
So a little design, a little, a little tricky design, but you can also negate the need to actually have an active yaw control. Let's see what happens when we turn. And you see our side slip is going to increase to one, and it's steadily, it's actually staying way under where we were before. And that was the main trick that I did, I uh, figured out on the previous craft, was that I needed to pull that yaw, uh, the wing for the yaw, way back, and you see we have almost no side slip. And this is a beautiful thing. It's being micro controlled with everything. And we have this really ultra stable aircraft that we can fly just above the ground and come just over our Fiero that's still sitting out here from the previous video. It's still kind of hovering in the air because it was sitting on top of a road that's no longer there. So let's go ahead and hit our afterburners to see if our if this makes any difference. I don't think it will. Uh, now, if I stay to the side, our side slip is going to steadily increase. I have seen it go as far as two or three on my previous design, but that was with me going completely sideways. And then you can watch the aircraft actually steady curl itself back down. And that, of course, is because we don't have anything actively combating that side slip, except for our wing design. And you see right here, it's doing a fairly decent job. And there you go, we're almost at four. And it's starting to curl, it's starting to curl. We have so much of it combated uh, using these little micro wings as well that it's actually holding quite stable. So let's bring it back flat and let's see our side slip drop back down. So there you go! This is a pretty, a pretty good demonstration of the lack of need for active yaw control. I've actually heard some people actually using um, no yaw because they feel like it's overkill in the game and you can get around pretty well without it. I mean, you're gonna limit yourself on certain maneuvers. Like you can see here, I only reason I'm able to yaw like this is with these Panthers. Because the Panthers are doing all of my yaw. And you can see them right there, quite distinct. All that vectoring we have going on there. And it's not gonna be as agile as a craft with yaw control, active yaw control. But it is gonna give you a very sleek, flat design that is not going to really pop up on many radars well if you have it done right and you have a nice very stable aircraft that you can just fly right over top of the mountains and really enjoy your new design like I am right now oh yeah I am loving this design so there you go if you like what you're seeing hit that like button drop me in a comment let me know what you think if you have some of your own uh, y'all list designs go ahead and send them on over share them in the comments down below let me know what you think of this aircraft if you're wondering uh, once again what mod I use to make this one so sleek it is a mod called dark textures on space stock and you will uh, you will uh, not regret having it it is a fantastic texture um, and I have been enjoying it myself as crafts look so much different with the different color schemes but for now I'm out of here if you like what you see hit that like button drop me in the comment let me know what you think like share subscribe like share subscribe <laughs> let me stop uh, I will catch you guys in the next video it's your boy Jatuan I'm out Peace. Oh man, I really like this one.